One group of citizens, politicians on both sides of the aisle, can never seem to praise enough are this nation's veterans. However, the government agency tasked with managing vets, the Department of Veterans Affairs, has consistently come under fire for letting them down. And now the VA is facing allegations of targeting whistleblowers who attempt to criticize the agency, according to testimony heard on Capitol Hill this week. During a hearing in the House Subcommittee on Veterans Affairs on Monday, Special Counsel Carolyn Lerner stated that when an employee comes forward with concerns about the administration, oftentimes more focus is placed on them rather than the issue at hand. Take a listen to what she had to say. Often, where a whistleblower comes forward with an issue of real importance, the VA's investigation focuses on the whistleblower instead of their disclosure. There are two main problems with this approach. First, by focusing on the whistleblower, the health and safety issue that was raised may not receive the attention that it deserves. Second, instead of creating a welcoming environment, it could chill future whistleblowing if employees believe that by reporting problems, their own actions will come under intense scrutiny. Now, Lerner said that since she spoke to that subcommittee last July, significant progress had been made to protect those who wish to bring their concerns to light. However, much more is needed in order to prevent what she called a chilling effect against whistleblowers within the agency. One such whistleblower is Marine Corps vet Brandon Coleman, who worked for a VA hospital as an addiction therapist in Phoenix. He says that after he lamented that the hospital was not properly caring for vets with suicidal tendencies, that his personal medical records were accessed illegally, a practice that Lerner said during her testimony has occurred in several cases where the VA has attempted to discredit whistleblowers. In Coleman's case, he was eventually placed on administrative leave for allegations that he threatened another employee. However, Coleman says those charges were proven to be false. He also says that they attempted to reduce his medical benefits. Of course, Phoenix is the same veterans health care system that was at the center of a scandal about a year ago when a report found that the hospital there actually kept a secret waiting list that delayed patient care, resulting in the deaths of at least 40 vets. The debacle led to the resignation of Secretary of the Department of Veterans Affairs, Eric Shinseki, and the establishment of the VA Office of Accountability Review. And such reforms would have indeed been impossible without information brought forward by whistleblowers within the VA. A group of people that Lerner's testimony certainly suggests need to be protected rather than targeted. From Washington, this is Anya Parampil, RT.